Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we're on a journey together of studying the Bible, one chapter at a time. And I'm writing a short devotional on each chapter and then sharing that with you. Today we're looking at Romans chapter 5. Are you willing to let your church become a messy church? I'm not talking about the bathrooms or building or property management. I'm talking about the church. Listen to Romans chapter 5, verses 6 to 8. For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us. In that, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That's a classic scripture. That's part of the Romans road of salvation. It's very familiar. But did you know that fishermen don't catch clean fish? <laughs> if we are to be fishers of men and women, according to Mark 1.17, Jesus says, follow me and I'll make you become fishers of men. Then we must realize that just like with catching fish. People are caught dirty. That's what Romans 5.8 says and that we're still sinners. Now, you can go to a restaurant and pay some good money for the professionals to serve you up a cleaned and well-prepared fish in a beautiful, pristine environment. But I guarantee you, Somewhere along the line, someone had to get their hands dirty, catch that fish while it was in its natural habitat, swimming around dirty. That fisherman had to be willing to get dirty himself to catch the fish. Churches should be more like the fisherman's humble shack than the patron's pristine restaurant. Every person that Jesus Christ died for is still dirty with sin when the Holy Spirit first leads them to a church gathering. The only place that will be a beautiful, pristine restaurant with perfectly prepared fish is heaven, when all of the family of God will be face to face with Jesus Christ, glory to God. Until that day, we should expect to get messy. Seize the moment and let's get messy for the kingdom of God. Seize the moment.